Okay, so first starting with the garlic and the onions to prepare. We will chop up, mince the garlic and then chop the onions. We start by using a knife and a hammer to break the garlic to separate the meat from the skin and then we mince it. Doing using very fine chopping motion with our knife to mince the garlic into a very fine, fine um, mixture. Yeah. Once this is done, then we can add it to our pan with the onions later. Very simple technique, just be careful. Next, we are going to chop our onion. Um, actually, we need to peel it first and we'll cut it into wedges. Um, we first slice it off the ends and then we'll go ahead and peel off the outer skin of the onion and then cut it into smaller wedges. When we cook it, it will break up, it will separate this layers of onions will separate um, and we'll go ahead and cook there so we don't need to do too much into cooking slicing up the onion too fine because the recipe calls for wedges or wedges shape or in this case we have moons yes so we'll chop it and cut it into wedges and then let it cook Next, we are going to prepare our pan for cooking up the sausage. The sausage is a raw meat. This is raw meat, so it has to be cooked well done. But also, you got to be careful when cooking the sausage that you don't burn it too quickly, too fast. That only the outer skin of the sausage to cook while the inner is still very raw. This means you need to cook your sausage on a medium heat and not a high heat. This is very important. Um, and you, especially when you don't have a thermometer. If you have a thermometer, then that's the best choice, getting a, meat, a thin meat thermometer, thermometer to ensure the sausage is cooked to 165 degrees Fahrenheit. But when you don't have it, you need to guess and then um, check it by cutting into the sausage periodically as well. Um, but you don't. But in order to get it thoroughly cooked, you don't. You don't cook it on a high heat. You want to cook it on a cook the sausage on a medium heat and rotate it during the cooking, so it does get brown on all sides. There, that's very important because you can get very serious food illnesses um, when eating raw meat, especially with sausage and stuff. So we would just drizzle the pan with some, um, pour some cooking oil, vegetable oil in the pan and let it get hot. We don't, like I said, we don't want to get, if it starts getting too hot, too steamy, we need to back off the heat first before we can um, add a sausage. We don't want to really to scorch the sausage, like scorching the skin, because it'll cook on the outside, but leave the inside very raw. So it's very important that the sausage is cooked complete and thorough through the entire process here. Because this, because you are not, there's nothing more to be added to the sausage there. This is the main course of the sausage. So again, just cook it thoroughly, watch it, and there's a technique that in here when I'm cooking it that you will cover it. Okay, so this looks good. Yeah, so we're about getting ready to, our pan is just about heated up, and we're going to be getting ready to add our sausage. Once again, making sure that the sausage is 
going to be cooked thoroughly, but in a pan that is not too hot to scorch the sausage, but hot enough that it will cook the sausage thoroughly and slowly. Now you are ready. Now we are ready to add the sausage to it. My sausage is frozen; it wasn't fresh, so it's going to take a little bit longer to, to cook there. That's why I need to have it on a lower heat. So for a frozen sausage, it took me about ten minutes or so to cook it frozen on a medium heat. Unfrozen sausage would take about half the time, five to six minutes. And again, you don't want to um, cook the sausage on a high heat where it would scorch the sausage and leave the inside of it still uncooked. This is very important that sausage is cooked thoroughly and completely to well done. Yeah, very important without being scorched. And to help the process, also during the cooking time, is to cover it keep the steam and the heat there to help help it on the medium heat is very important so in about 10 minutes the sausage will be cooked and then we'll set it aside They're very important again we are just going to cover the sausage and help and periodically check it during the process of the cooking, but cover it to help to speed up the cooking time by a little bit here to keep the heat in the pan to help it to cook. Our sausage is complete, is done now, and we're going to move it to, and set it aside while we are preparing and cooking the vegetables. So now we are just will set it aside and get the pan out to prepare for the vegetables. Using another pan, we are going to heat the pan, put some olive oil on the pan and heat it up. Um, again, on a medium heat. We, again, we don't want to scorch the vegetables either. We'll cook it on a medium heat. Okay, we start by adding our wedged chopped onion first in the pan. And we are going to stir this around to make sure you're coating the, the onion with in the oil. And we're going to constantly stirring it and coating it and cooking it because we want the onion to be a translucent type of look there before we add the next ingredient which is the garlic. So we're going to just constantly stir this around until the onions are cooked. Um, and as you will see during the cooking process with the onions, we had larger wedges. The wedges separate the wedges separate and now we have moon-shaped slices of onions which are sufficient for our type of bean escarole mustard green soup there. So again we just keep constantly watching and stirring it until it is done. Now we are ready to add our chicken broth and our wine. Um, and I will actually, the pan is hot from cooking the onions, so I'm going to add the chicken broth first. And that will reduce the temperature of the pan a little bit and reduce the steam. And I have so much steam when we add the wine secondly. So we add the two. So add the chicken broth first, followed by the wine, and then let that boil. Okay. 
Now we are ready to add our beans and our escarole, or in this case, if it's not seasonal, not available in the store, I use mustard greens. So we're adding our beans and our mustard greens, the beans first, and just add the entire can with the juice, and then, and then we add in the mustard greens, and we'll actually cook this until the mustard greens really start to wilt. That means they, they blend in with the soup. So it's almost like a bean, mustard green, onion type of soup here that, was, that we're having with our sausage, Italian sausage there. So, so again, we just cook this and in about maybe five minutes, we'll be able to dish this up into a bowl Top it with Parmesan cheese and serve it with our sausage. Our vegetable soup here, I'm going to call it, or bean and mustard green soup, is done. And we can now just take this right from here and put it in a bowl and you just sprinkle some Parmesan cheese on top and serve it with our sausage. Enjoy.